Welcome to Fishing Family Fun. Today we're going to talk about fishing reels and rods. So they are two parts. This is a spinning reel and this part of the reel actually spins around and puts the line back onto the spool. This is what is called a casting rod and it also has a reel which works very differently. Uh, the spool itself turns and puts the line onto the reel and when you cast this spool actually physically spins uh, letting the line come out. As a beginner the first thing I want to point out is that the rod and reel almost always can be separated. So you can buy a reel that you like and a rod that you like and mostly if the size matches, you know, you don't get a really big reel and a very small rod or vice versa. Um, usually you can interchange those. So you see the, the reel here uh, comes off. This happened to be one of the rods and reels that we bought as a combo. Uh, a lot of stores offer combos where you can buy the rod and the reel together. Essentially, what is the difference between a, the rods themselves? What's the difference between a spinning rod and a casting rod? So, I'm going to take the reels off of these, and you see it just twist off and fits into the slot there that holds the reel on. And this is the casting rod. You see that's the, the reel there. So the first thing that I would mention is if you see this sort of finger groove sticking out of the rod, this is a casting rod and it's meant to be held with the reel on top and the guides on the top. When the line comes off, it's already coming out relatively straight. When line comes off of a spinning reel, when you cast, it's coming off in a very big arc. Um, so it needs to be narrowed down. Well, when you, when you cast this reel, that line's already coming out relatively straight. So you'll see that the rod guides, which the line goes through, are relatively small. And that's because at this point, they, they, it's just a refining process for, for that line going out and coming back in straight. So any casting reel or spin cast reel, those will go with rods that have this finger groove. And again, it's going to sit with the reel on top and also the rod guides on top. And this is important because the rod construction intends for these rod guides to be uh, on the top. But you're always reeling forward. So if you're reeling backwards, then you... Either you have your anti-reverse set improperly on your spinning reel, or you've got your reel upside down. So you'll see with a spinning rod, there is no finger groove, but the reel itself, when it's placed on the rod, you'll see that holding it, the reel itself is provides that same mechanism that you can put your finger in front of. But the same is true when I'm reeling this reel, I'm reeling counterclockwise on a left-handed reel and I'm reeling clockwise on a right-handed, but I'm always reeling forward. So with a spinning rod and reel, the reel is actually hanging underneath the rod as are the line guides. 
the rod guides are on the bottom of the rod. And as you, we talked about earlier, you'll see that the guides themselves are very large, you know, to sort of get that line under control and coming off straight by the time it gets to the end of the rod. And of course, allow it more room, you know, to rotate to come onto the reel smoothly as you get closer to the bottom here to the bottom guide. Another couple of features that I want to share uh, that may be helpful to beginning anglers. If you see this little wire on the side of the rod here, you can see, I'm already using it, you can see what it's used for is to hook your bait. This is not to be used to run your line through or or anything else. That's that's what this the purpose of this wire, and it's very convenient to have. Um, a lot of people will hook their baits onto the rod guides, uh, which I wouldn't suggest ever hooking uh, your lure or your hook in the actual rod guide because you can chip or damage this inside if you absolutely have to. Uh, I would recommend actually hooking it on the arm of the rod guide. But again, optimally, if it's available, these little hook holders are, are very convenient. They'll keep you from getting, uh, if you have multiple rods, you won't get tangled as much. And of course, you know, walking on the bank, moving around, essentially going anywhere makes it, it's a lot easier if you have a place uh, to get that hook and on this particular rod, uh, you know, it's, it's very nice because this hook, it's very hard to even catch it on anything. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope there was some valuable information. If you enjoy our channel, I hope you'll subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you and have a blessed day.